So, <laughs> it finally stopped raining so I can record for you guys. I don't know why in the Midwest it's either super cold, a lot of rain, a lot of snow. I don't know <laughs> what's going on. But here it is, guys. Um, the 2013 Dodge Ram 2500 that I've been working on. If you guys haven't seen the previous videos, please do so. It will show you the majority of the damage. And you can come back to this video after that. As you can see, um, I haven't done the absolute best of my abilities for this vehicle, but I did a pretty decent job um, because I even took it to a body shop and he did say there's a little bit here and there that I should have sanded a little, little bit more. Um, the clear coat should have been a little bit you know, better, but I told him my situation where I don't have a body shop, I don't have a paint booth, I don't have the best guns, and because I just do my own work, I, I don't have a dealership where I buy and sell just because, but anyways, I just wanted to walk around the vehicle, I told you guys that I would buy aftermarket wheels, and there they are, um, in the previous vehicle I explained to you guys that I traded them in, um, uh, so on Facebook Marketplace, there's a guy that told me he wanted my original wheels and he would give me these plus $300. A lot of my friends and family said there was some, <laughs> there has to be something wrong with them for him to do that. But I actually drove the truck on the highway, the city, and around our town, um, and they were perfectly fine. They're not the best of shape for the tires. Um, the tread, I would probably give them around 20 to 30 percent but I got <laughs> $300 that I can put on tires. Uh, I also did the Ram logo right here rather than the Dodge, so that's that's new. I'll be doing the little bit tent um, on the tail lights just to give it a little bit, you know. I don't, I'm not a fan of these te uh, tail lights. I would prefer the new style tail lights. But of course, they're, they cost money. <laughs> um, I also explained that I got side steps for the vehicle. They were around $100, and I gave the guy 50 bucks, and he said, come take them. So that's that. And they're actually original, not aftermarket. No rust whatsoever. So there is that. Um, also, when I t painted the vehicle, for of course, my luck, um, I taped all this area. But for some reason, maybe it was my fault or um, I got caught on something. Of course, overspray right here, over there. Um, and I just wanted to talk about something very important for me um, and for other YouTubers out there. There's a lot of people that mock rather than, you know, give details on how to do stuff. So for example, um, I was doing uh, work on a Corvette, you know, painting and stuff like that. And a lot of um, people on the channel was just mocking the work that I do. And this video is not to talk stuff on them, but rather than talking stuff on the people that are trying to learn, how to do stuff at least teach them the right ways rather than you know talking <laughs> I don't want to say bad words and stuff like that rather than saying stuff to them um, so I've had a lot of people do that and I don't want to be or start some you know comment crazy stuff on YouTube but I try to be nice and told them you know rather than mocking me tell me what I did wrong and you know teach me how to fix it so YouTube community didn't help me out, so I went to a body shop, a friend of mine, um, of course he's really busy, but he had time to teach me the right ways, and um, actually even let me borrow his gun um, for a van that I used to have, and I actually painted the whole thing, and I didn't know that spray guns, you know, depending on, he had like a $600 <laughs> spray gun, and to me, that's kind of silly, but for him, of course, he has a body shop. He needs that. And it, it, trust me, <laughs> it did an amazing, amazing job um, compared to my gun that I, that I have, Sprite gun that I have. So besides that, um, everything turned out really good. Um, 
I did the headlights that I told you guys that I would be doing, the white inserts. Um, I also painted the honeycomb and the grill. Um, I replaced the windshield. That, that thing was completely busted. Um, I had another window, I think the passenger side, that was cracked. Oh, actually, <laughs> busted as well. So technically, you know, they're not cracked, they're just busted. And I threw that away and replaced that. Um, other than that, the truck is pretty, pretty good. Um, so let's open her up. I know it's dark, guys. I'm sorry, but it just stopped raining. So in the Midwest, we either have crazy snow, crazy cold, or rain. So I haven't had time to videotape. Literally, it just it just stopped raining for you guys. But um, I uh, put back all the seats. So they're cleaned. Everything is good. The only thing that I have... <laughs> Do you guys see what's going on? It's literally raining again. I seriously just mentioned the rain and it, start, it started raining on me like heavily. It's, it calmed down a little bit, but it started like crazy raining. So I had to step back. I don't want my phone to get destroyed. Um, but anyways, um, I just wanted to end the video quickly. Um, there's not much to do else rather than leveling the the truck a lot of people told me to stay away from leveling kits and lift kits unless you go expensive route and i'm talking about like a two thousand or even three thousand dollar leveling to um a lift kit because you have to change the suspension you have to change the springs and there's so much that you know goes into these trucks that you have to replace and if you don't, apparently they all go bad eventually. But right now I wanted to show you guys the interior, but of course I cannot because of course it's dark outside and it started raining. And it's going to be raining for the rest of the week. So I just wanted to end it right there. Hopefully you guys enjoyed your weekend and hopefully you guys enjoyed the video there's more to come um i'm i'll be buying a car from the guy that i told you guys about um he has multiple cars for sale and there's one that interests me of course i like i like a little bit of a challenge so hopefully uh next week i'll go to him show you what he has and uh maybe let you guys guess which one i'll be buying so See you guys uh, in the next video.